I've been following this same diet structure for the last four or five years and I absolutely love it. It allows me to be in shape basically year round. What's up everybody, it's Benjamin over here and today I'm gonna be sharing the most frequently asked fitness related question and that's how do I eat on a daily basis? I've added some timestamps below so if you want to jump to a certain meal just feel free to do so but I highly recommend you to watch through this entire video because there's going to be some valuable tips throughout the video especially at the end of this video I'm going to tell you a very very important thing about this particular diet so make sure to watch until the end. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and meal number one. Let's go. Ah, good morning. So time for meal number one, which is going to be eggs, meat, and some healthy fats and a big cup of coffee. Alright guys, so that's it. It's really simple. Three eggs, 100 grams of meat, some nuts, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And sometimes I like to prep my eggs in an omelet or just boil them, but now for the sake of conveniency, I just love to do it scrambled because it's fast, easy, and yeah, I guess the job done. And I love, love the taste as well, so enjoy. Okay, so now it's time for my snack and I usually have this pretty much whenever I feel most hungry and I just want some really convenient and easy food and I would have normally this, it's curd, low fat curd um, or then if I, I don't have access to this, I'm on the go and then I would just have a protein shake. But anyways, this is what I prefer. So I put the curd inside of the blender then I add some berries and look with berries and uh, I know berries do include some carbs but I'm just not that concerned of you know measuring my berries or my vegetables so I usually just go with my gut filling in those and then I also add some greens normally I would be adding some spinach as well but now I don't have spinach so this is to be honest I'm not sure what it is in English but it's lehtigale in Finnish and to add some flavor to the mix, I'm gonna add some sugar-free berry soup. And on top of this, I also have 35 grams of nuts. Are you ready for meal number three? Cause I am. Oof, that was that was cringy, man. That was too cringy. I can't post any of that. Anyway, so now it's time for my lunch, which is gonna be chicken salad. And this is, by the way, from my application. If you're interested, you can go onto my website, fill in the contact form, and I will contact you personally for a chance to get into my coaching. Normally I would have a full avocado, but since I'm on a diet, I'm gonna have a half avocado for now. So what I like to do is um, I have my chicken. It is already ready made. So I'm gonna have 200 grams of chicken, uh, which is, I measured it when it was raw. Then I'm just gonna have salad and vegetables. And I never measure my vegetables. I have never actually done it. Even when I was competing, I didn't measure my vegetables. Salad, uh, cucumber, tomato, paprika, and so forth. And then I'm gonna have the half avocado and chicken, of course. So what I usually do is I put some salt on some of this and also some very low fat salad dressing. Gives a nice taste, nice flavor, and yeah, I enjoy eating it. Mm, this is good, but quite frankly, I'm already waiting for my next meal, which is gonna be pasta and minced meat. Yeah, I already prepped this food earlier today. This meal is really flexible, cause... Hey, what are you doing on the... Hey! So this is meal number four, and I target this meal around my workout. So if I would be 
working out in the morning, I would have this meal straight after my workout. So this would be in meal number two. But since today is my off day, I'm gonna have this meal instead in the night so that I get a good carb load for tomorrow's workout because I'm gonna be working out in the morning tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna continue making the meal and yeah, I'm gonna show you later tonight when I eat it. I got a big portion waiting for me over here. So it is currently 150 grams of pasta or rice um, and then minced meat. But sometimes I have a variety of potatoes or sweet potato. But quite frankly, I've just been really stuck with this food for a long time since I really genuinely enjoy it. So let's destroy it. This food is so big it won't even fit the microwave. Barely, but it won't turn. Oh yes, it does turn. Oh, no it doesn't. Okay guys, I'm ready to start eating. I got my plate in front of me, um, my Pepsi Max zero sugar, no taste, um, full taste, zero sugar, ketchup, sriracha sauce. Have you ever thought about it? Sriracha, sriracha sauce. Yeah, as I mentioned before, I usually eat this after workout, but since it's my off day, that's why I have my carbs at night. Anyways, bon appetit and see you in the next lunch, which is gonna be my last meal of the day, which is gonna be oatmeal. So just oats, water, some berries, banana, and I think that is the sound of fresh oatmeal. So you can do this in your microwave or in uh, just a boiling pot, but I prefer the microwave because it's just easy and convenient. And some people like to do their oats in milk or almond milk, and so do I, but since I'm dieting, I need to take a look at where I get my calories from. Some berries. And once again, as I mentioned before, I don't measure my berries. I just go with my gut feeling. And again, I have this sugar-free berry soup. So this right here is half of my cottage cheese. So yeah, what I usually do is I just eat that and then I just add more of the cottage cheese when I get more space on the plate. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. I truly appreciate it. Please hit the like button to support me and also make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new updates. And also, let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next because if it wouldn't be without your comments, I wouldn't have been making this video either. So just let me know what you wanna see. I'm here to create content for you. Now for the important thing I promised in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna share with you, we're all individuals. So everybody has a different kind of metabolism. Everybody works out in different kind of ways. Your training and your nutrition, they should be optimized. They should be in a good synergy with each other. And also, I think the best nutrition plan is something that you're able to follow. So if you're a beginner, it takes a lot of trial and error to get to the right nutrition plan. If you need help in constructing the perfect plans for you, go onto my website, fitbenny.com and fill in the contact form for a free consultation. I'll be in contact with you so we can discuss on how I can help you reach your goals. Anyways, guys, this was everything for today's video. I'm gonna finish this, then I'm off to bed, get a good night's sleep, and tomorrow is a good, hopefully beautiful day. So, good night, guys. Take care, and once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.